What's up all of you beautiful subscribers? Welcome back to the Jack Chapel Show. So when is it a good time to lose money? This is really weird. I'm a finance guy talking about when it can be good to actually lose money. There are certain cases where that is true. We're gonna talk about it for the average person or like on an individual level. When is a good time to actually lose money when it's a good thing? We're also gonna talk about it on a business and entrepreneurship level, okay? So I wanna start off with actually um, on an individual level. So let me take you back to a time when Jack Chapel was about 14 to 15 years old, okay? So my family, when I was a kid actually, we, we my family owned a, an apartment in Manhattan, downtown Manhattan, I know, right? And we sold it, but that's another story. So I, I used to go to New York all the time is what I'm trying to say here. And when I was 14 or 15 years old, I think that we bust down there with my friend and you know, we stayed in the hotel and stuff. So 14 or 15 years old, we were walking down the street um, and we see this guy, we see this guy who is essentially, he's giving away his mixtape or CDs at the time for all of you youngsters out there. Um, see, these CDs were these things where you would put them in a CD player and the music would play. I know it's a really strange concept these days. So we were walking down the street. He was, um, he's probably 25, 30 years old. He's getting his music out there. And so what he does is, hey, I'm giving out this, this music, the CD for free. I'm giving out the CD for free. So he puts it in our hands, very smart salesman, puts it in our hands. And then he says, um, actually, uh, do you mind if you just give me a few dollars? I'm accepting, you know, donations and, and, and sales. And, you know, I can't really give it to you for free, actually. He just put it in our hands. And now he's asking for money, essentially, here. And so what I did, a youngster at the time, I actually bought that CD. It was like $4 or five, whatever I gave him, five bucks, okay? My friend gave him 15. And he, the guy, the salesman, actually, I remember this, my friend, um, he had $15 or $20 at the time. And so he originally gave him like five bucks. And then the salesman said that, uh, saw that he had extra money in his wallet. So he kept asking for more. Oh, the CD is actually $15. So because my friend and I were such, we were young, we don't know anything about business. You know, my friend hands him over, whatever, 15 bucks for this shitty CD, which we never really listened to. And I gave him four bucks, all right, or five, or whatever the hell I gave him. All right, so I lost money. And why is that a good thing? That taught me a lesson. That taught me a lesson about two things. Why did we give him the money? It taught me one, about sales, and two, about how we have to be okay with confrontation sometimes. We gave him the money because we didn't really know how to confront him, say no. We were too young, we'd never really done that before. I was a really shy 14, 15 year old kid, so was he. And so that really taught me about confrontation. So here's where this point comes across here, is that it is a good time to lose money when you can learn from it and make more money from learning from it. So for example, that taught me about confrontation and saying no. Those are very two important skills that I use today. You'd be surprised how much I say no today. And I still think about that day in New York. I swear to God, like uh, every month or so, or every even a few weeks, I will think about that moment, how bad that moment made me feel like, oh, this guy essentially just like stole our money for something we didn't really want, okay? And so when you lose, for whatever that is, maybe you lose money, because you, you have a, some person who wants to uh, borrow money and they say, hey, I'll promise I'll pay you back. They never pay you back. <laughs> that teaches you to either A, don't loan money to people that you know, or two, make sure you vet them and get them to sign a contract and you learn from it. So maybe it's yeah, letting someone borrow money. Maybe you're partnering in a business venture and your partner screws you over. All right, you lose a little bit of money. Maybe you, you gave up some equity in your company, which is still losing money, losing value, and they walk away and you never hear from them again. Maybe you can sue them, who really knows? But examples like that, where you lose money and you learn from it. And that is one of the best ways where you can lose money and it's a good thing. If you can learn, if it's a small amount, if it's, I mean, for me, I learned a life lesson from losing like five bucks at age 15, $5. And my friend, it was like 20 bucks. I'm sure he learned a life lesson from that too. It also learned how to sell. It also taught me like, oh, wait a second. You put something in someone's hands and think that it's their possession now, all of a sudden, you know, you can kind of ask for money and they might say yes to it versus you just trying to sell, hey, $15 CDs here. They'll just say no. Real, that's really, really interesting. 
That actually that taught me a little bit how to sell. Now I didn't really learn how to sell until I was older, but that's a whole different story. But it taught me some life lessons. So if you can lose money and learn from it, that is actually a good thing. That can be a good thing as long as it's not a hundred thousand dollars and all it taught you was to not trust your sister with money, right? Then that, that could be a bad one, right? Okay, so we're gonna move on here to number two, which is more businessy. So when would be another good time to lose money? Well, uh, the pro of that is Amazon. A oh, and that is the chair. <laughs> that is the chair moving. Amazon. They, for years and years and years, from what, 2007 to 2014, they were losing money. They sure they had some positive quarters and maybe a couple positive years in there, but they were losing money. Why was this? They were turning profits, or they were turning revenue of what, a billion dollars a year at the time or more, a couple billion dollars a year. Why were they losing money? They were getting market position. This is something very import important that Jeff Bezos does. Amazon had years, even in 2013, 2014, they would lose tons of money, billions of dollars, yet the stock price would go up and the company, well, I guess the company value went up. So why is this? Why does this happen? It's because you're getting market share. You are investing to get market share, to own that market share. So the best example, again, it's Amazon. They spent billions of dollars to make sure that they owned the e-commerce marketplace, to make sure that they owned uh, they're essentially owning the, the web services now. They put billions of dollars into that Amazon web services in the cloud. Uh, they did that for even at the bookstore. Millions of dollars he, he invested to build his Amazon bookstore to accelerate that. He could have probably cash flowed it and done that all on the side, but no, he went into debt and raised a bunch of equity or raised a bunch of capital so that he could be the first to sell books online. So when you lose money, you take out debt, you put in a, a bunch of money so that you can get the, be the first to the marketplace, that is a good time to lose money. Okay, and another good example of this is what Tesla is kind of doing right now, getting good market position early on. Tesla owns the, the electric vehicle market. Well, they don't really own it because Volvo's getting into there and Chevy's getting in there and all that. But when you think of electric cars, what do you think of? Tesla. All right, so that's a, a really, they're gonna sell 455,000 Model 3s, which is the, those entry level sedans. They're gonna sell 455,000 of those uh, within the next year. There are, those are all in re reservations. Actually, they probably won't be able to make that many. I think 10,000 cars a month. So it'll probably take about two years to get all those done. But still, because they're going to probably ramp it up to 20,000 a month, 30,000 over time. But um, what I'm trying to say here is that if you lose money and take out a bunch of debt to get good market position, that's a good time to actually lose money. That is one of the good times to lose money. So we're going to move on to um, borrowing, which is number three, borrowing money now or taking out debt to profit later, which is similar to what we were talking about before, but before it was more of market share. We're going to talk about a specific example like real estate. So real estate, what, do you, what happens when you buy an investment property? What happens? You put down 30, what, okay, we're gonna say you put down $100,000. So I'm gonna say 30,000, but you're gonna put down $100,000 on an investment property. You also take out $400,000 in debt. So you buy a $500,000 property, so your net worth goes down by $500,000 because 400,000 in debt minus, or I guess you would go down $400,000. So your net worth goes down $400,000 and you lose $100,000 in cash, all right? Why would someone do that? It's so that they can use that, that asset to profit over time. So that's the best example I could come up with here was that using that money for some sort of investment purposes, using that for long-term investments, not for market share, but for long-term investments. So again, um, I think that's the best example because buying on margin in stocks and leveraging your stock portfolio is just not smart. But borrowing money to even, you know, borrowing money to, to again, start a business, whether you're getting market share or not, borrowing money to start a business, I don't recommend it, but that could be something where it could be a good thing to actually lose money and go into debt. Putting, putting 70 grand into a company plus borrowing 100 grand to start a business that can potentially make $200,000 in profit the next year, that's a good time to lose money in year one. 
lose 170 grand to make 200 grand in profit the next year, maybe 250 in profit the next year, 300 the next year, so on. Your company grows. That is a good time to lose money. So we're going to talk about number four here. We're going to try and keep this video. Oh, it's going to be over 10 minutes. Oh, I swear I don't try to make these videos 10 minutes long. I try to keep them shorter, but whatever. Uh, it's the one's going to be over 10 minutes. So um, tax purposes. This is number four here. Uh, it is a good time to uh, lose money. It's a good time to lose money if it reduces your taxes. So what do I mean by lose money? This is something that d a lot of people don't understand. And I've mentioned this in my last few videos about how, you know, I could make $100,000 in gross revenue this year, but I might not have to pay more than a couple thousand dollars in taxes. Why is that? Because I'm losing money. Well, what I'm actually doing is I am using the money. I'm using the money. I'm not keeping it liquid. I'm using it to, uh, for business expenses, for stuff that will in the long term grow my business. So for example, if you, you know, Trump, you know what Trump's a good example for this. He has had years where he has had losses of whatever, a billion dollars or $300 million. And so that can be a good thing in the long run if it helps you avoid taxes over the next 10 years. Sometimes that can be a good thing. So for me, again, technically under, you know, federal law and tax purposes, I'll lose, I mean, I'll have $70,000 or whatever go towards business expenses this year or something like that, somewhere around there. Um, and that will be considered a loss. However, a lot of that $70,000 is going towards, you know, equipment, which I can sell, which is still an asset. It can be towards, you know, advertising, which helps grow the business, grow the business in the long run. It could be courses, which helps grow the business in the long run and stuff like that. And so when you lose money for business, for tax purposes, I mean, that can be a good thing. It's going to be a good thing for me this year, lowering my taxes this year. So potentially in the future, I can have more revenue. I have more, I'm going to have more assets to play with. And I'm going to have to pay less in taxes, which is good for business. And this is also a thing too. So why are you allowed to, you know, I always hear this all the time, especially, you know, I, I try to follow like socialist subreddits and conservative subreddits and, you know, anarchist subreddits and fascist ones and freaking, you know, anti-capitalism ones. I try to follow the whole spectrum. So I, cause it's one, it's interesting to me and two, so I can kind of at least always keep a level head of both sides and what's going on. And what people always hate on the very far left is all the business expenses. People hate that you can, you know, have go out to dinner and have it be a business expense sometimes or, or buy a quick camera and have it be a business expense. Well, I mean, that's how you grow a business. And eventually because I, here's the deal is that because I bought a fucking camera in December of 2016, that that's that camera's ROI has been thousands of dollars. We're talking hundreds of percent because I bought that camera and is able to, am I, I was able to deduct it that year from taxes last year because of that. Or did I buy January? I forget. I forget if I deducted last year, this year, or I'll do it this year. Um, but because of that deduction and because of that extra thousand dollars in savings or, or whatever in taxes, that'd be, you know, a couple hundred bucks in savings. I'm able to put it towards advertising. Then maybe in the future, I'm able to hire someone, which is better for the economy so that we can both pay taxes and then the employee can pay taxes and that's better for everyone. Everyone has more jobs and everyone's happy. And then eventually I get enough business expense cuts and tax cuts and all that stuff where hopefully in the future I can build up a company where I hire 2000 people. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, the unemployment, I have a, a little bit of a, a tick on the unemployment rate for my, for my province and for my city. And that's, that's kind of the goal. Like business expenses help grow the business at the end of the day. I know it's stupid. Now, some of them, I mean, some of them are not, some of them don't help grow a business whatsoever. Some of them are just people want to try to illegally expense stuff. I mean, you can't expense it a lot. Like you're not supposed to expense dinners unless you actually talk about business. It's actually a business meeting. Some people will just be like, oh yeah, I went to freaking, I ordered pizza, pizza. And, uh, yeah, I had a client with me when it got delivered. So uh, that is a business expense. Like, no, I have legitimately had business meetings at restaurants with clients talking about real estate where I can deduct that expense, where I can deduct the dinner expense for whatever I paid for that day. Like that's legitimate business meetings. You're not supposed to go to dinner and, and just dinner and then watch sports on the TV and then, you know, whatever, fuck off the rest of the night. All right. If you actually have legitimate business expenses, that can be a good thing. It helps cut down on taxes and it'll help grow your business in the future. You're going to have more money to play with. That's the other thing is you're going to have more capital to play with. If you can lose money, 
under uh, under your federal tax code, lose money, but have it go towards assets and, and have and keep some extra capital so that you can grow your business. I mean, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. And that's out of all of these things here. I mean, out of all these things that I talked about. So. Uh, when you, I guess when you learn from it, it's probably the most important thing. So if you can learn business and life lessons, that's the number one time to actually lose money. But you know, solidifying market position, borrowing to make a profit later and tax purposes. I mean, out of all of those, I mean, the tax purposes is what I'm doing right now. I'm losing money so that I can lower my taxes this year. And it's a smart thing to do. So anyways, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Uh, you're all very beautiful people. Check out my stock market program in the link below if you're interested. And I will see you guys in the next video.